This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Okay. Yeah, I just had to take a breath on that one. That was that was a hell of a comeback. Um, you're going to probably get pissed off about this, but I found in the attic <laughs> a pack, a whole case of 1991 WCW trading cards. And the winner got that whole pack. Which means if I found this, then the six-man belt shouldn't be too far away. Fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm serious. You're going to really feel bad when one of these days I show up knocking on your door with that six-man belt. You're going to really feel bad. You have to come on here, come back on here, and apologize for all the bad things you said about me. No. I won't. You should. You don't know what I should. All right. What do we got? Is this a this a scaffold match? No, it's John Cena's entrance. He's coming down. It is the spaceship. <laughs> really? Yeah. Remember when y'all flew flew Flareon at Starcade ninety? Yeah. Show? Same thing. Except he's not wearing a stupid mask. <laughs> Wow. This is pretty impressive. What an awesome sight that is. And it's taking a long time. Whoa! Take a look at this, King! <laughs> what an entrance! John Cena is making his entrance. He's Damn, a, this is an impressive entrance, man. It is cool. I feel like you need one of these walking into your bedroom whenever you're going there to take Lois to Old Pound Town. <laughs> well, Cena was really milking it too, man. Going to every corner. doesn't who's gonna no i know i know i just i'm just really uh i'm impressed with all this john cena basically in hollywood now yeah it's been more than a year since he wrestled for the first time in his entire career Kept himself in great shape the whole time, though. Looking like a million bucks there. Yes, sir. Now, you know, I only saw uh, a lot of John Cena when fans were saying, you know, We've had enough of John Cena. It's too much. It's past his prime, as they many had said. But this is an era where they really loved him, didn't they? Man, what a great look that is. This is the best version of Edge. Man, Lita. Yikes. How about it? What do you think of his entrance? I love it. Hell of a star, man. As a big time star look, <laughs> I don't like that Bojangles type thing there. Bojangles. Yeah. The last time I saw a, a logo spin was Jay Z flares, Bojangles belt. I love that. You think he came up with that? No, I don't think he came up with it, but that's what I recognize when I Oh, by the way, Mickey J, the referee, I saw Mickey recently in Miami. We were there. And seen Mickey, oh my God, in 20 plus years. It's 
Well, I got to say, with the entrances and everything, this is a big-time matchup. At least it has a presentation of. Uh, chat me up about this match. Well, how many stars did it get or how many? All of them. It did? No. Two and a half. 14 two and a half. And two okay. seconds. A spaceship like stage lowered from the ceiling and Cena walked out. Edge dominated this match. The fans couldn't boo Cena when he was on the offensive. Cena scored a th uh, visual three count when Lita distracted the referee. Cena shoved Edge into Lita and who went flying off the apron. Cena dropped Edge with the FU. Then he locked in the STFU. And Edge didn't put up much of a struggle, and he tapped out. Cena celebrated the victory in the ring. Forgettable title match. Watching the match play out, it could be argued Edge wasn't into the match because of the planned income, or outcome, rather. Two and a half stars. I have a problem with it. With, was that from Meltzer, or was that from... Uh... Your boy, Wade Keller. Okay. <laughs> I, have a, I have a problem with was saying that it's apparent edge was not into the match. I, I, I don't know how they come up with that shit with their mouth. I know they do, but look, I mean, you're telling me all this. He's not into the match. He is into the match. I just don't get it. I just, and I, you know, look, I, I know everybody's got an opinion, but I, I don't, I, I don't buy that. You know, you know, read, 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 read that passage to me again, where they said about edge, not being in the match, read it to me. Again. Watching the match play out. It could be argued edge wasn't yes. into the match because of the planned outcome. See, that's bullshit. That's a bullshit line there. You know what I think you ought to do? What? I think you ought to write Wade Keller a letter. No, I don't Give him look a piece I, of your mind. You want us to no. call him on the show. I'll call him right now. I'll no, look. He's not the first one at a bullshit line in wrestling. Who else has been bullshitting? <laughs> I was bullshitting for a long time. Let's Whoa. Get to the bottom of this. Let's call him out on their bullshit. I'm not calling him out on the bullshit. Well, it could be, it could be argued. Why, why would you write something like that? How, wh what about this match made you think that way? I, I don't know. I just, Tony, but <clears throat> he's trying to sell subscriptions. Okay. Got it. Sorry. You're right. Again, you have, got it. You have, it's like when you listen to sports talk radio, if you and I were doing a sports talk show and you said, boy, Alabama just can't be beat this year. Mm -hmm. I would say, I agree. That's right. Tony <laughs> we will be back after these words. No, I, I got to take the counterpoint. Even if I agree with you, because that's what you fucking do. Yeah. So he's got to create a little shit. Got it. Let everybody we're be talking and. We're spending way too much time on Wade Keller on this. You love Wade Keller. Uh, I don't love him, but I certainly, I have no problem with him. Oh, well, you're just motherfucking him a minute ago. I was not. I was motherfucking that comment, not him. Oh, well, off air, you were as burying and big to me. No, see you, uh, uh, there's a t-shirt out there that said Conrad comma, you a lie. Oh, okay. And I'd put it on right now again. You're really being kind of rude today. Yeah, I am. Why is that? Well, I'm a weird guy. Why do weird. you keep saying that you're weird? Cause I, I just, I came to the realization, you know, here I am, uh, into my sixties and all of a sudden I'm sitting here the other day and I look in the mirror and I think you're a weird, why are you like this? Just weird. You mean because you rebuke our, my friendship? No, I don't rebuke your friendship. I just. I'm just a loner. I, I don't know. A rebel. A, a rebel. Listen to your old pussy ass over here calling <laughs> yourself a rebel. For instance, give you a perfect example. I could have come to your house during the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I didn't invite you. I know you didn't, but I could have come. I would have showed up. What do you do? Have Dave Silva throw me out? Well, no, but I mean, you weren't coming. Everybody knows but I, but, but I could have. I had time. I could have gotten my car and driven over to Huntsville. You didn't want to. That's right. Why? Because you're stupid. <laughs> Same reason you've been married all these years. Well, that one I can't argue with, but I just, I don't get myself sometimes. Don't worry. Nobody else does either. <laughs> what do you think of this match so far? Where are you at on John Cena as an in-ring performer? I think he's a good one. 
But the fans are not buying this because they just saw the emotion of the Royal Rumble. Bad placement. They needed a let me up match. Mm hmm. Or they needed Rumble to end it. Yeah, that's fine too. But here's the thing Vince didn't think Ray was a big enough star to close the show. Then why did he have him win the Royal Rumble just because of Eddie's death? I mean, yes. Okay. All right. So you need a big star to close the show. Here's right? how I know that too. Not only when Ray won, was he not the last match on the rumble, but he gets his world title shot at WrestleMania. They didn't give him a singles match. They put him in a three-way with Randy Orton and Kurt Angle. Oh and then they, God. and then he still didn't get to go on last. He was third from last for the title match. Wow. So yeah, he gave him the bell cause Eddie died. People are going to get mad about that. That's what happened. Should have been the end of this show, but we've got more and we still got another match to go. And your mom does a run in here shortly. All right. Be kind of cool to see old mom again. Hmm. Hey, speaking of mamas, I don't know if you saw, but, uh, Whitney Wright was talking about you this past week on the Twitter machine. I was not, I did not see it. What did she have to say? Oh, I forget. You don't use Twitter anymore. Well, it doesn't matter. What, when, what does matter? Why would you bring it up if you're not going to tell me what she says? Well, I forgot. I made a mistake. Have you ever made a mistake besides Marion Lois? Uh, yes, I've made plenty. Name some. Let's just hear some. Uh, let's see. Should have ordered fish when I ordered chicken. Mm -hmm. I remember that I was there that day. Yeah. Um, started drinking Moscow mules again and my blood pressure went up. Yep. I was there that day. Okay. Um, should have used cotton nail wipes and I used toilet paper. Oh, yep. I, I changed your life on that with those wipes. Don't even act like I didn't. Yeah. That's about the that's the only ones I can remember right now. I think it's a very competitive match. I think it's pretty damn good. I like it. I do too. I think John Cena gets a bad rap. An argument could be made that bullshit. So Whitney Wright tweets out, mm -hmm. has the sex ever been so good that you wish you could have gone back in time and gotten a cream pie instead of a facial yikes. I am full of regret after yesterday's scene, a mistake I won't make twice. And mm. great friend of the show, Dave Hancock says, Another at Tony Schiavone 24 satisfied customer. Implying that you were the person who delivered said facial. Oh. And she replies, LMAO, stop. Crying emoji, crying emoji. I live in fear that one day he'll get so overloaded with Whitney tweets that he'll unfollow me and I'll be devastated. And great friends of the show, Go Pro Wrestling respond. Strong suspicion that won't happen in this lifetime. And then Whitney responds, Never say never, crying emoji. All of this because Tony's friends made him take a picture with me, even Naughty and Sarah Jesse at the at Starcast events at Blue Chew after party. LOL. We would have blown him, but he was so shy. <laughs> Uh, another missed opportunity. My life. I may or may not have added that last sentence. <laughs> she did slide my DMs and ask what day me and you were getting to Vegas. Oh, you may or may have not added that one too. No, I'll send you a screenshot. Yeah. And I said, I don't think Tony's coming. And she's like, well, if he does, he is LOL. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, here you are. Yeah. Sitting at home, pulling your pud. Appreciate your friendship. Climbed up in the attic, got your little Batman toys, talking mm-hmm. in a real deep voice to yourself, binging Netflix, not showering regular, <laughs> getting a little film on your nether regions. Just going to yourself, I'm Batman. Little Doing film. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just did you just make that up right now? <laughs> I gotta write that down. Uh I'm enjoying this match. I, I really am. I know we're we're having a good time here, but I, I think these guys are really doing a hell of a job. How many WCW referees we're going to see in this motherfucker? I don't know. We got two. Meanwhile, how many WCW announcers? Zero (laughs) point zero zero. Tony, who's your favorite porn star? Not named Whitney, right? Oh, I think we've talked about that before. Well, I'm just asking like, you know, now that you're on the road, you're watching spank division every week. Oh my God. Who are you? Who are you jacking it to these days? Cena, man, Cena doing a great job trying to sell it, getting up on his his hands, and then going back down. That's pretty cool. Do it again. You didn't give me an answer, buddy. Cause you a lie. What do, What do you mean? I'm lying. <laughs> I asked you what you liked best, and then you <laughs> said you a lie from my question. What was it again? Who's Film on favorite? the Nether regions. <laughs> Who's your favorite porn star these days? Uh, I don't. I don't watch. I don't look at porn. That's not true. J- that is true. JR tells me. Oh boy. What? Well, he's a lie too then. I don't know if you saw, but next week on uh TV <laughs> here in Huntsville, right before you and I and Jim Ross are stand up live, Cody Rhodes is gonna get whipped with uh I presume a belt. He's going to receive 10 lashes on TV here in Huntsville. MJF. Yep. I think they planned that when they were doing a, a Southern visit because the old country whipping match was a staple. Sure was a staple. You ever whip anybody with a belt to the wrestling mm-hmm. show? Nope. I have. Really? Yeah. It was an indie match about 15 years ago. And, uh, Fans at ringside were encouraged to use a belt. And I was like, oh, I ain't doing that. And then when insisted, you went for it, right? Sure, well, yeah, I used the belt. It was well, a work, there you go. It was a working whip. I wasn't trying to hurt nobody for real. Mm-hmm. A working whip. Yeah. Like, what, cause I know you and Kodak Black, y'all are about that water whip. One, two, three. Shut you, the fuck up. You ever do any, gotcha. any water whipping? Uh, shut the fuck up. Water I want to see this finish. Kitchen, huh? I want to see this finish. Don't fuck up this podcast by saying Kodak Black's name. Here we go. That's it. Cena's going to win it. He tapped? He did. He did. He did. How about that? Crowd's going banana. I mean, after he came in off the goddamn spaceship, it was kind of a spoiler, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess so. But you could tell, I mean, it could be argued from looking at it that. By the way, I think you're going to like the backstage segment coming up. All right. Hacksaw Jim Duggan's involved. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, let's hear it for Cena, man. Good stuff. I can't believe we're not doing Tony Reed's rap. We're not Googling. 
when I talk about your kids. We're doing a watch along here, man. We're enjoying the matches. We, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I really am. All right. 2006 was a uh, shitty year for wrestling. Yeah. And for Tony Schiavone, if I can use that in the third person, not necessarily a great year for me. What was, what's your best year in recent memory? 2019. Um, mine was 2018. Really? Here we go. Oh. There's the tap. And the reaction slowed it down a little bit on the replay. Fans are excited. Yeah, and he's celebrating almost as long as he's, his entrance took. I can't believe you compared that to Bojangles. Bojangles spinning whatever biscuit or whatever it was was the first one I saw. You never saw this belt? Never saw this belt, no. Jeez. That's why I asked you, should I binge WWE? And you said no. no. Just read about it. I don't do anything. <laughs> Just Shivani, everything else in your life. No, no, it. no. It's gotten you this far. Here we go. Promised the world that you would not be a transitional champion. What does this say about that? Waldo, I will knock your face off. Get out of it. Uh, Lita, what, what, what are your thoughts? On what we just saw out there. My thoughts? How dare you come and I'll talk to him right now? This is a very emotional time for us and how did What in the hell are you doing here? Well I'm here on behalf of John Cena, and I've got one thing to say to you, woman. Well, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's only uh, one hacksaw. J- How about Loki calling Lita a ho? <laughs> what the hell was that about? Oh, look at the, uh, the Burberry tie on Taz. Mm-hmm. Is this a clue? Is this the wrestling Illuminati? Is Taz <laughs> associated with MJF? Whoa. Whoa. Who knows? That's bad for you because MJF already hates you. Hey, well, you know what? I don't give a shit about him. I will knock him into next week and hopefully he'll fall and hit Dean Simon in the head. That motherfucking Dean Malenko. Where are you at on that motherfucking Dean Malenko? Who's this holding the microphone here? Oh my God. It's Josh Matthews. Yeah. Who was the other kid holding the microphone? That's the other bald person is Kurt Angle. No, the the last interview. I don't remember. These guys look like just a bunch of writers falling around Vince. Well, they're not. Josh Matthews was one of the contestants on Tough Enough. He wanted to be a oh. wrestler, and he wound up getting a gig here. Now he's the voice of Impact Wrestling to this day. Oh, well, good for Josh. Yeah, he's probably the premier broadcaster in wrestling, and you have no idea who he is because you're disrespectful. Wow. Really? Yeah. Hope JR knows you knows you said that. JR knows I'm fucking ribbing. <laughs> Here's what else JR knows that it ain't you. <laughs> You're right, JR. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Do you ever get tired? All the time. What do you do when you get tired? Uh, get a mellow yellow zero, put my dog on my lap, put my feet up and watch Netflix. Huh. Think that'll work. Nah, it really hasn't worked for me. Cause I'm still tired when it's all over with. I think that's to do with old age. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm getting a brand new mattress. Oh, thanks to our friends over at purple. Absolutely not. <laughs> I 
all this roll credits. We'll never beat that. Jesus Christ, that's the funniest fucking thing ever. <laughs> every now and again, and it's not very often, but every now and again, I fucking love you. <laughs> Is this Gregory Helms coming out with Mark Henry? No, that's Devara, you racist motherfucker. Well, well, he looks like Gregory Helms. What's wrong with you? Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.